This is Matt Diabella. He's one of my favorite YouTubers, but he has a problem. He has a problem with his phone. And I happen to have the perfect solution for him and maybe for you as well. You see, during the past year, Matt has released several videos about downgrading from a smartphone to a flip phone. And he's not the only one who seems to be interested in this idea. In the current age of technology, phones are a major distraction to almost everyone. According to Rescue Time, in 2019, people spent an average of 3 hours and 15 minutes per day on their phones. As a result, over the past few years, there's been a massive movement against wasting time on social media and on our phones. So many people have spoken about how life-changing quitting their phones is. And, in fact, a new wave of companies has emerged to fix this very problem by trying to create dumber and dumber phones. However, I want to take a moment to appreciate how great phones are. Let's go back to 1922. Imagine telling your great-great-grandpa that in the future there's gonna be a device that can access the entire knowledge of all humanity. A device with which you can speak to anyone in the world, listen to virtually every song that has ever been created, see any place in the world, take pictures, and get directions anywhere. And they can do all these things instantly. Screw flying cars, I want this magical piece of technology, they would say. But as great as phones are, there seems to be a darker side to them. A dark side created by profit-driven companies that will try to make you spend as much time as possible glued to your screen. So how can we solve this disparity? How can we benefit from everything positive phones bring into our lives without dealing with the mindless scrolling, the mental stress and the waste of time? Well, Matt tried to make his phone dumber, which I think is a very smart approach. In fact, I've been tempted so many times to just throw my phone into the ocean and get a brand new flip phone. And as Matt said in the video, a flip phone actually solves many problems. For example, you probably won't find yourself laying on your sofa watching YouTube videos until 3am. You certainly won't find yourself mindlessly scrolling through TikTok on the bus. And maybe, just maybe, you might just use all this new free time to pick up a new habit and improve your life. But there are obviously some disadvantages, and as Matt is probably one of the only people in the world to have downgraded his phone and documented Hello. this whole Hi, process, I'm, a... I'm going to list everything that Matt thought was wrong with his dumb phone. Texting. Absolute nightmare. It takes so long to text on a flip phone. I have serious... Ah! I accidentally... Fuck. I accidentally closed out of it. Now I gotta do it again. And there were some other areas where I started to miss my smartphone. Some small things like writing down notes, creating grocery lists, printing off my flight itinerary for our trip to Australia, capturing photos and videos. When I look back over the past few years, almost every single photo and video that I have was taken with a phone. It takes so long to load. <laughs> And they gave me a QR code and they said, just bring your phone into the store and then we'll scan the QR code. Obviously, I can't do that. And all these problems that Matt had can be explained by one simple graph. I call it the happiness to usefulness graph. It's really simple. There are two axes. One measures the overall happiness or relief from not using an addictive device. And the other measures the usefulness of said device. For example, smartphones are extremely useful. You can do virtually anything with them. However, depending on how you use it, it can make you really unhappy. Therefore, smartphones are over here. On the other extreme, we have dumb phones. They are not that useful, but they will probably make you feel better and stop you from wasting so much time. So, they will be over here. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but these are very extreme options. They're actually complete opposites from each other. And what I think Matt is looking for is something in between, something quite useful that also makes him happy. What I think Matt is looking for is something I call dumb smartphones. Now, I'm not a productivity YouTuber, but I do like tech, especially playing with technology. Some time ago, I discovered something amazing. On Android, using a few simple tricks, you can uninstall any app. And when I say any app, I mean any app. If you've ever had an Android, you might have noticed that there's certain apps that you can't uninstall. For example, you can't uninstall YouTube or Gmail or even the Play Store. Well, with this simple trick, now you can. I've linked a few YouTube videos on the description on how to go about this, but I'll briefly explain the basics. You have to set up something called ADB. Connect your phone to your laptop and use an app called Universal Android Deep Loader. And after that, you can uninstall any app. 
And the great thing about this is that you can now, for example, uninstall YouTube of your phone or even Gmail. But the most important thing you can uninstall is the Play Store itself. It freezes the apps on your device because now any apps you uninstall, you can't install again. How many times have you decided to uninstall Instagram of your phone only to find yourself installing it again on the next day? Well, now you can't do that unless you go through the whole procedure again, which is a pain in the ass. So it takes too much effort. As you see, this trick is great because now you can have virtually any dumb smartphone you want. You want to be able to call, text, listen to music, listen to audiobooks, but you don't want to be able to install Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube. Well, do that and install Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and most importantly, the Play Store, so you don't just install everything after five minutes and keep everything else. In my opinion, with this method, you're able to get a phone at the perfect sweet spot, a phone that's not too dumb and that doesn't make you unhappy. Let's check if this solves Matt's problems. Texting. Now I gotta do it again. Writing down notes, grocery lists, printing off my flight itinerary for our trip to Australia, capturing photos and videos. It takes so long to load. <laughs> and then we'll scan the QR code. Now, it's not all sunshine and rainbows here. There are some minor inconveniences to this method. Firstly, you're restricted to using an Android phone. There might be a way to do this on an iPhone, but I don't think it's gonna be straightforward and it probably involves jailbreaking your phone. The second disadvantage is that you can't install new apps or updates. But that has an easy fix. Once a month, reinstall the Play Store for one hour and then you can decide if you deleted anything important or you might wanna add new apps. And after that, uninstall the Play Store again. Finally, be careful of the apps you uninstall. For example, don't go and uninstall the settings app because you might be screwed then. Um, for my experience, it's okay to uninstall YouTube, Gmail, and the Play Store, but this might vary from device to device. So make sure to look online and see if there's any problems with the app you want to uninstall. But I think those are acceptable disadvantages for the huge benefits you can have. So there you go, Matt. I think this is exactly what you need. Not too dumb, not too smart, just smart enough. And who knows, maybe this inspired you to make a new 30 day video. As always, remember to consider donating to the American Diabetes Association. I'm trying to raise $10,000 by the end of 2023. It still looks like it's not gonna happen, but who knows, it might just happen. Thank you so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Also, make sure to check out my app, it's called To Focus. I did it two weeks ago and it has a total of two insults, but I think it's pretty cool. It's for productivity and yeah, all the revenue will go to the American Diabetes Association.